Did you know that over 2000 years ago, Indian shipbuilders were already masters of the seas? Yeah, I'm talking about a time when the Sangam texts, those ancient Tamil writings, were packed with details about ships, navigation, and even international trade. Let's dive into some forgotten wisdom from ancient Indian naval architecture. So, the Sangam era, roughly 300 BCE to 300 CE, was a golden age for South India. The poets and scholars of that time described bustling ports, massive ships, and journeys to far-off lands. They didn't just write poetry. They recorded how ships were built, what materials were best, and even how to read the winds and stars for navigation. One Sangam poem talks about ships so big, elephants could walk onto them. Imagine the engineering behind that. They used teak wood, known for its strength and resistance to water, something modern boat builders still value. And it wasn't just about size. They designed hulls to handle strong monsoon waves and used natural resins to waterproof the joints. Navigation? These sailors weren't guessing. They used the positions of stars, knowledge of ocean currents, and even migratory patterns of birds. Some texts mention Eri, a kind of compass, and detailed instructions on how to set course for Sri Lanka, Southeast Asia, and beyond. Trade ships from ancient Tamilakam carried spices, pearls, textiles, and even gold. They sailed to Rome, Egypt, and China, making India a hub of global commerce way before GPS or Google Maps. And all this knowledge was passed down, generation to generation, through poems, songs, and stories. So, next time you think about ancient India, don't just picture temples and kings. Picture massive ships, skilled sailors, and a tradition of innovation that connected continents. Maybe it's time we dust off these old texts and rediscover the genius of our ancestors. Who knows what other secrets are waiting in the pages of history? If you found this as fascinating as I did, drop a comment and let's talk ancient tech.